Hey y'all, back for a little bit more Warlock Master of the Arcane. But before we jump in, I figured we'd just go to the uh, Wikipedia, or wiki writer for Warlock Master of the Arcane. And what we're going to do basically, we're going to basically go in here and look at the victory conditions. Because we've gotten to the point of the game where um, victory is rather close, shall we say. Getting a little bit of lag here, but... Not unbearable amount. And it doesn't look like there's like a... This little quick thing here, but I can probably search for victory conditions and we can go from there. Alright, so, as you can probably already guess, I probably mentioned this already, but there's the Conquest Victory, the Holy Site Victory, the Uni Victory, and the Avatar Victory, and then there's also DLC Victory, and it gets crashed. That's kind of annoying. I suppose you can't refresh an error, so... There we go. So, we've basically gotten to the point of the game where I've only got two other uh, factions left. I've knocked out two already. I'm basically uh, dwarfing the other, other guys with, you know, with ease, so there should be too much uh, problem to you know, destroy them. And come to think of it, I've actually destroyed three factions. But anyhow, um, getting the Conquest victory is essentially to defeat all the AI players, and that's going to be easy enough to get if I go for it. But you've probably have seen it, you know, in so many other games like Civilization V, and I did, you know, in my own Civilization V game that um, you probably, you know, you can already guess what that's going to be like, basically, is win by Conquest. Um, holy Sites is basically, uh, if we build cities in more than 50% of the Holy Sites, all of the planes and worlds, then we basically win. So, we'll just jump in here so we can maybe just uh, look around a little bit. The gods are of our day are mortal, but they're avatars in the world. Though they are very strong, they can be killed and banished, and the powers of the command seized by the victor. Yes, it is very possible to seize the powers of the gods by killing their avatar. We just watch the victory condition. So, if you recall in the last episode, we had the barbarian declare war on us. Curly kingpin over here. Now, I figured before we sort of jump into, like, you know, battle with this guy or doing anything else, we're just going to have a look around his territory and see what I can possibly garner from this guy. So, over here, he's got an undead city. He's got a Minotaur Palace over there. Based on this, look, I'm looking around to see what he's got in his territory. Maybe he has a holy site that um, I didn't know it before because, you know, it had a, um, a structure built on top of it. There's his uh, capital. Now, I know if I want to, I could annihilate this guy very, very easily just by, you know, running up to him with, like, my guys through the, my allies' territories and his, his, his capital. And I'll actually know if I actually want to look at my ca um, ally here, he's actually got no more over here right in the middle of all his crap, so. Unlike, um, you know, my ally, I can run through over here through my ally's territory, hit this guy, and just destroy him very quickly if I want to. But yes, back to looking for a city. So basically, um, something I can list, I'm just doing here basically is look around his territory and see if he controls any holy sites, so to speak. And right from the start, I don't see any. Basically, the holy sites, it, it'd be nice if, by the way, there's like a, um, if there's a, a strategic view where you can just look around, but. Um, essentially, I don't see any holy sites with this guy, so that's leading me to believe it's either holy sites over here in the black over here, or down here in the black. Just out of view at the moment. Right now, I control three of the holy sites, and I need two more to get victory, so I don't see any uh, initially here. Any outplanes over here. I don't uh, see anything at this just at the moment. But, you know, there's basically stuff that, you know, for victory conditions with the holy sites, if there's if those are around, I could use those to, like, to win. 
blah, blah, blah. Now, essentially besides, you know, the Holy Set victory, which I might go after, there's the Avatar victory. And the Avatar victory, how this works, basically to summon the Avatar of a god, you just have to get them to hate you enough that, you know, basically summons it. So basically at negative 99 favor of a god, they'll summon their Avatar to try and destroy you after a couple dozen turns, which will basically drop it near, near your capital for you to fight. If you decide to go after it, then, you know, um, you get a chance at, you know, victory condition at the cost of being, you know, destroyed. Or, you know, basically you destroy and you win. And best to save the holy set conditions if you're trying to get this. As maybe if we get one that's got fair to 100, with, uh, the negative 100, with only half the holy gr um, grounds captured. Basically, um, basically, here's what it's saying is, if you don't have enough holy sets to build, like, you know, the Temple of Doros, kind of like I've been doing. If you actually look at my um, god relations over here. Right now, I basically have plus 78 love with Doros. Negative 79 with Fervus. So I'm doing pretty good making like, you know, Doros here like me quite a bit, but still a ways to go. Hmm. So these guys don't like me as much. Because I guess I'm over here in the middle of nowhere. Whatever. So anyhow, we're just going to jump into the game now and we'll see what we can do. So, when we last left off, I was basically just, you know, beating off on these guys over here. They are yes, my lord. We're just going to send these guys over here to say hi. So note that when you basically run over to um, hitting units like this, they'll reveal themselves. It's a very nice way of, you know, dealing with them. Now I'll get my god relations to plus 10 with uh, the god, um, the Helia god here. Yeah, hell yeah. And I got Desertification, that's a nice spell. Gotta build a temple to a gorilla for a gorilla, but anyhow. So basically what that did was it basically pushed me up to, you know, plus 10 for hell yeah. Now this is stuff I have to note. Basically, I was actually at negative say 9 before I helped out Helia there. So by actually, you know, doing like the quest at this point for, um, uh, uh, basically Grella and for Helia, I'm actually pissing off Doros here a little bit because um, I guess like, you know, we're going a little bit away from him to the other gods. I'm really close right now to being, you know, loved and you know, you know, basically Doros loves me basically right now. But I should be looking at like, you know, um, basically trying to get temples, I guess, up to him for him. It's the thing. Alright, well, we're at war with, um, this guy now. I'm just going to basically take the rest of this episode to move some stuff over to deal with this guy a little bit. That's a bath fort. So note that bath forts are kind of like defensive fortifications that are also capable of training stuff. Damage shot off a little bit. The door in summon is also very much the same way. It can be used to uh, attack stuff. has a range of two, so if I want to, I can hit this uh, bat fort over here. Do a little bit of damage to it. And that's the funny thing, you can actually destroy the producing structure of the bat fort here. As a result of this. Okay, that's gone. So yes, he declared war on me because I fused a demand from war. Um, basically, what he wanted me to do was give him like half my mana. And this is something that this is how demands work. When get, we're basically giving you demands, these uh, AIs, they're basically asking for like half a resource. So he asked for ask my half a mana. I wasn't going to give him that much. That's way too much mana to give to anyone. Probably is a you know this is a problem that I've been building up so much mana, but that's besides the point. And we'll drop off a few things here. So in this city here, I can build veterans and stuff. Very nice. And why not? We'll build a ranger's guild. So yes, now we're basically at war with um, the other guy. If I want to make this like short and quick, I can send all these units up to like, you know, 
basically deal with them. But I think we're going to keep them around this portal for now. These guys that are down here next to the portal. The other guys, like my ghost here, I'm going to send them up at least over to maybe say hi. My zombies here, they can like, you know, march over here and attack the uh, warriors on this hill. Now zombies, you know, they aren't exactly anything great for like combat, but they're great for just being meat shields. These guys are meat shields. There's like nothing else to really say about them. That's the nice thing about the undead faction. They're actually really well made the undead faction for like their strategies. So we'll give them that so they can move around a little bit easier. These guys down here, we're just going to make them defend. So we'll sentry these guys. I should probably be using control F just to speed this up a little bit. Sure or not, go after that guy. Nice little critical hit there. Uh, you can control F. I suppose you can't get up there in time, so just go here for now. You guys can get all the way up here. You guys don't have uh, basically the ability to walk through everything easily, but you can go up here and fire. So those guys are out of the way. Control F those guys. Yes, this guy's still around. He's kicking ass. Chewing bubblegum and all that. I'm going to try and wipe out the rest of this stuff over here, I think. So... What have I got to do so? Nothing I can really cast fast enough, I think. So... Maybe let's focus on making this guy, you know, just get healed up again. Oh, look at that. So basically, here's like an example where uh, my reputation has like dropped a little bit, I guess, with a gorilla. So I can't cast that, you know, anytime, anymore. So we'll have to focus on like, you know, the lighter ones. Which is still pretty good. She's got, she does, you know, naturally gives me the gorilla's healing, which is pretty awesome. That'll be very useful. Can't attack him. Let's just get rid of one of these guys, I guess. Move over there. Still a few vampires around, but they'll be dealt with soon. You guys just stay there. Now, I didn't really explore it, but there's also still this other, you know, mystic portal over here. So something I'm, about, I'm thinking about doing is we might just go for a summoning spell to send like a guy over there. Or I guess send like a cheap unit just to go over there real quick. Maybe this guy, for example. He's, you know, he's not like got nothing really spectacular. I don't really, you know, care not to lose. So maybe I'll send him over there. See, so yes, note to self. I'll have to try and, you know, please the grill a little bit by just, you know, trying to get in her favor a little bit more. Uh, you guys can come down here, so... We'll do that. I 
All right, so more or less, I've got all these guys over here that I can make use of to attack the, the, the purple guy. Let's get to it, shall we? So we know what eventually I'm going to go to war with these guys. Might as well be now. I suppose it doesn't really matter which one of these guys I go for first. Apparently I'm going to do a lot of damage with this guy in any of these cities, so... No damage that way. Oof, I was hoping I'd take it out there, but oh well. A little bit of damage initially done. I think quite a bit there to take that down a little bit. I think with my uh, pounds of death over here, we can march her all the way over here. Let's destroy that. These guys, they're beasts, so they can basically, you know, um, run through dense terrain like the forest very easily. Sally, I don't think they got the movement to go all the way, say, over here, but oh well. They can basically just, you know, move those around right over here and use them to attack deep wood for now. The nice thing about werewolves is that they'll heal up quite a bit, so they're great for attacking stuff if there's nothing else around. Essentially, with these guys, you can just like, keep attacking over and over to do lots of damage with them. These guys alone are probably enough to take out the entirety of this guy, just because of how strong they are. And I'll have a few more guys popping around later on to help me out. Whoops. So that guy's moving there. Sometimes it's great, you know, just to wait and, you know, watch what your guys are doing. So I saw that, that one guy was walking over there, so... I have to turn him around. I think that's the cool creature I'm maybe sitting around there. He attacks me there, but whatever. Oh no, I got a critical hit on that. They're pretty weak, as you can see, those guys. The stuff that's left over here. Oh! Well, note that once I, those guys get weak enough, they get you know a lot weaker, so... I should have didn't take much there. And Manfred is just moving around willy nilly. The new spell research is complete. We'll speak. I'll take more money from you, sure. Blocks all kinds of spells on a target, perfectly locking its current enchantments. Let's get a Bane just to get one of those out of the way, I guess. And wow, one of these guys popped through. Alright, there we go. He's done. That was fun. Alright, I researched range resistance so I now have this ability to put on my guys. The catapult apparently uh, walked around. Maybe I'll move this over over here to make use of it. Only problem is it's going to take at least a couple turns to get over, but whatever. Move from my allies' territory with this guy. Uh, maybe I'll give him perceptive, but I think we give him innate resistance because it's we're getting to a point where it's going to be very few turns left before I, I serve his win completely. All right, now these guys are basically have wandering around all over here. I think what we're going to do with most of these guys is just uh, leave them around my capital. It's always, you know, maybe a good idea to leave a couple guys around your capital, so we'll do that. I think a king for will build like a healer now, so I can get one of those just to show off you guys. There's so many different types of units you can make use of. I don't think I ever built minotaurs either for you guys to see, so maybe we'll build some of those. Funny enough, we don't can't really build them there. No, I never built Ratman Robber, so maybe we'll build one of those. Nope. There is a you know that there, but 
I guess we never actually had a mentor. Okay, because I, you know, I knocked down the size of these places just small enough that it never was, you know, big enough to get one of those. Oh wait, down here. There's a Mator Palace. There we go, Matoris. We'll build one of those. Rockcliffe. So Rockcliffe, you have like, you know, the Mad Trap here. Lots of our stuff. I don't know, maybe we'll give him a Shaman's Guild. It's funny how this has like two different types of plates over here, but whatever. Let's give you heavy stones. And yes, I finally built these guys. So here's like our uh, Wolves of Helia. They're like basically the... Um, what can I say about them? They're essentially, you know, they're werewolves that are just worshippers of Helia. Not a whole lot more to say about that. Sentry those guys. And I was thinking about destroying the uh, the building over here, the uh, Temple of Helia, after I built them. I'm not sure if this is going to piss off Helia a little bit. Let's actually just check that a little bit. So, let's say no to this initially. We're just going to go to our diplomatic window here. So basically right now I have... Um, Pretty free sympathy with Helia. Let's just see what happens maybe if I destroy her temple. Because I think Helia is, um, is female. It's kind of hard to know what the, you know, the so-called genders of all these gods are. So we're going to destroy that. That'll let me build up the temple to Agrella. Go to my relations. Oh yeah, look at that. So basically that dropped it down a little bit. That actually probably, you know, made um, an, um, Agrell over here like me quite a bit more. So basically, you know, it went down. Should have gone over this way a little bit. I think I might have actually done so. Alright, most of these guys have to get sentry again down here, so we'll have to do that. And you can basically just be moved over here. You don't have to help out over there. This troll won't be able to make it over, you know, to attack this stuff here. Just so we'll make him attack here. I'll at least get that out of the way. Destroy that bat for over here so you can basically, you know, move there. Yeah, we're just going to double click through a lot of this stuff at this point. And yet again, we've almost destroyed it, but not yet quite destroyed it. Yes, 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 that happened. Uh, we built up quite a bit of food over here, which is kind of, you know, quite a happy thing. Let's see here. You're building a smithy, a foundry. I guess we're going to go for like the upgrades, you know, spearmen and stuff like that. I could just build these guys naturally though and just upgrade so maybe let's do that instead. At this point there's really, really no point, you know, I mean just wasting a lot of time on some of this stuff. I'll build a mad trap right there. You guys are clearly going for the money, so we'll just keep going for the money. Nice how I can finally build up here in this stretch over here. There's an old crypt over there I, I guess I sort of missed. So maybe what I want to do is maybe send one of these, you know, like one of those guys up there. Oh, we'll worry about it next turn. Since I noticed it this turn. Alright, I could build a casino now if I want to. This is a nice little economic structure. Why not? Yeah, 
You guys can just make your way over here. And then control F. Yeah, I'm still holding off a little bit and upgrading these guys all the way completely. Just to build up the money. So bye bye. Those guys are out of the way. All right, so here's what I'm thinking about doing over here at this point. So we have the option of basically doing that sort of ring thing that basically attacks all the stuff around me. The ice ring, like, you know, ability. So maybe we'll do that here. That knocks at least that guy off, you know, his, you know, foundation. I'm tempted to go after this guy over here, but with all these guys being like ranged combat combatants, maybe it might be a better idea is to go here for now. Yes, we recruit these guys. Very nice. Those guys are now over there, so I can send them over to Fruit of Void. I hope we can see that happening, so... Long-range attacks from, you know, these towers. Range attacks from those guys, whatever. Your Excellency, someone has humbly requested your aid. I could go for armor again again. It apparently wasn't as damaging as I figured it might be, but Well, I mean, I got the man at this point, so why not just, you know, cast a big cat? Well, the thing is that it takes, you know, three turns to cast. Maybe we'll just go for something a little bit less time consuming to make. This is a simple thunderstorm. Uh, capture a safe from a great mage. Apparently, I've been asked to capture uh, Debwood. I'm so damn happy that just popped up. Sure, I'll go for that quest. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know. Let's send the veterans in there. Look at that, I got halberdiers. Sometimes it's nice to get those, you know, free quests like that. Send you there. Let's get these guys to go there and attack. Get them in the view. Very powerful. Most of the god units are very powerful when they're attacking, so that's sort of be expected, I guess. Yes, my lord. Now, think about. It, let's actually send you there. In need. Send a healer up here. I guess those are like the free halberd deers I got, or maybe they're already here, I can't remember. Nah, they're get these guys are original, so. And I can upgrade them to royal if I want to at any given time. We've already seen vampires, we, you know, fought a whole bunch of them, but now I can build them over here. Can build the ores, still are nice, but I think what we want to do is just build a trading post. A 
gold mine tour. I mean, at this point, in a lot of these places, I'm just building up stuff. I'm just building up a lot of this stuff just for a simple reason that, um, you know, there's really no point anymore to uh, not building, like, you know, the best... What can I say? Basically, there's, you know, there's no point to building any producing structures when I've, you know, not going to be producing stuff for long stuff on, you know, stuff on them. We're not, like, losing units enough. Basically. You know, in some ways, I kind of like, you know, the sort of mechanics that I found in 5, where it makes it so, like, you know, if your units you know, are in the same place, they sort of, you know, all get, so, you know, used to use stuff and all that. It's not really happening here. And some of this, some of this stuff. Might have been better if I attacked with these guys first, but whatever. Done. Another city captured. Looks like this is getting attacked by something. Uh, Minotaur Alarm from Minotaur Palace. Those are the only things I can build because, you know... Can't build anything else, apparently. I can send these old trolls over to attack Silverton if I want to. Could do that, but I think I'll just push over in this direction for now of them. Alright, the Fire Lord, you're gonna go back up here. There's the Halberdiers that I got for free. I think we're just gonna make these guys sort of sit around and twiddle their thumbs for a moment. You know what? Let's send this cruel creature all the way up over here. I realize it's not the best thing for attacking, like, you know, mages and such, but it can take the beating. It's horrendously powerful. Fear the bunny. You know what, I actually went and watched the uh, Monty Python skit that's, that's basically referring to the cruel creature today. The it's a timeless classic, but I'm not really a fan of, like, you know, Monty Python, to be honest. There's some funny bits that mean, like, you know, the whole hangering of astronauts and all that, but not really for me. Alright, these guys are basically all, um, magic casters, so it really doesn't serve any purpose not to attack them. Get some damage going there. I'll just keep moving over here then. Have you made it all the way over here? Yes, you have. So, this guy I can probably send into the portal next turn if I want to. I should probably send, you know, someone to capture a city over here, but... The problem with this Mystic Portal is that, you know, what's ever on the other side can pop up units to attack whatever city they put over here, so... Not the safest thing to do. Fast forward for all this stuff. A new spell has been researched, my lord. So we 
can cast this stuff here. So, hope this isn't going to hurt my own guy, but... Wow, nice. You crush all that. Very nice. Hey, look at that, Sun Fire Elemental. So we can finally, you know, research one of those spell, um, lovely little, you know, spells. See how powerful they are. Uh, let's have you guys fire, fire. Now recruit, recruit my rangers, very nice. More money. I was building this money stuff over here. Now let's build a Hall of Commerce so I can like, maybe show off the, the Blade guys. There's a few more elves, really type of elves I've yet to show off. Might be fun to show off. There's the Ratman Robbers. Basically those are like your rogues for the monster faction. We'll send them over here, I guess, for now. They'll probably end up like the rats, pretty useless, but you know. If they survive long enough or if I upgrade them, then they'll be of use. Heh, Phallus. I love some of the names that these guys, uh, that, you know, these guys, you know, managed to uh, pick apart. You wouldn't know it unless you're like, you know, familiar with the lore, but a lot of the stuff comes from like, you know, um, I guess, you know, just lore about the game. General lore. Send the zombies there. Alright, you know, we're going to think about attacking Mage for over here, so... Kind of sucks that it's basically all swamp over here, but... That'll help. Let's get you over there. No mercy, no remorse. I send her down over here just to help out. I'll send her down this direction. Vengeance. Funny how much movement she has. Nice, have you fortify. Fortify them. We got our Goblin Spearmen over here, so they're not in the fray. Basically, Goblin Spearmen are your warriors. Eventually, they get upgraded into their own... Especially, you know, the seasoned Goblin Spearmen, which are basically, you know, your veterans. Make one of them, why not? Goblin Veterans. Huh. Sea Serpent. Is that the same one? Nope, it's a different one. Sit right here and attack it with the magnet tire nearby. Do a little bit of damage to it. You there? Yes, my lord. All right, I can finally send this guy into the Mystic Pearl, so Let's do so. So this is another Mystic Pearl. We got a demon wood over here. Some more stuff in here. Bit more of a showcase to what's you know to be found in these places. There's a lost artifact right there if I if I you know was smart to try and pick it up. Of course you recruit them already. They're beasts by the way, these rat rins, so they can run through like forests. 
it's a nice thing. These are I guess these guys are actually weaker than rogues, but um, they make up for it with like a, a more different upkeep. They use food and like money instead of just money, and they also uh, have like you know they build like the beast, the beast abilities. They can run through like you know um, forests without much issue. Excellent, you can keep moving in this direction, I guess. Cool creature you've already made up here, very nice. Let's send you over here. Huh, you'll be sitting there for in a few turns. Just to heal up. I kind of regret having the Doros guys come down here to defend, but whatever. Huh, interesting, you have a life attack. Let's move you right... I'll move right there, right in the front line. They're strong enough to take a beating. You guys are fine right there as well. I knew that magic tower was going to attack that guy, so the reason I sit th sat there. Ouch. They're in the swamp, as you can see, so they're taking extra damage, those werewolves. Ow. Finish battle, please. Interesting, that guy will die soon and if we get the next turn. Alright, well this is just meant to be a short play session, so I think that's you know more than enough for now. We took a couple of saves from the barbarian. Managed to get into the other, you know, world portal there to jump in there and like have a little bit of fun there. Showing it off. We'll do that a little bit next turn before that, you know, Earth Mantle dies. I'm not gonna try and maintain him. We'll probably get to summoning some, you know, fire until sometime in the next, you know, few turns, so it'll be nice. That'll be the next Let's Play, though. So for now, take care. Hope you've enjoyed.